chairs today to kind of show you what we're we're doing yesterday and what we're going to do today and what they'll sound like on the drum. So yesterday we did the basic beat. One, two, three, four. And then we're attempted to put the hi-hat in there. Okay. And then we talked about boom, boom, chick. some more today but we're also going to do what's real popular today with uh, pop music and even Christian music is more of a straight bass beat so sometimes that snare I'll, we'll talk about that later where the snare sometimes it's just the bass drum okay so let's move to the chair Let's review real quick from yesterday. You remember, right leg, one. Left hand, two. I have to think about right and left for a second. So, one, two, three, four. One, two. I also sometimes call this boom and chick. Boom, chick, boom, chick. And then we want the hi-hat in on all four beats right now. This is probably going to be a problem for some of you. You have to work towards it. If you can't do both beats right now, just do the, connect it with your leg, boom, or with the boom, or connect it with the chick. But try to do one or the other. Try, every time, try. Okay? You can, sometimes it helps to say in your head, boom, chick, boom, chick, then add it in. That helps. Everybody's brains work differently. Everyone can do this but everyone's not going to get about it the same exact way. All right, so that's called the basic beat. Uh, one, two, three, four. You can almost play any song there is using that beat. It may not match the beat that the recording's playing, but you can play it to the tempo, and it, just about any song you can make it work for a simple drum beat to learn on. Um, if you want to find a song, like I said yesterday, I'd love to play some tracks and, and play along, but the, you know, then we'll get muted. Uh, because we don't have the rights to, to play those songs for you. Um, later on in these lessons, we'll get uh, Brandon in here or maybe some of our students and uh, have them play guitar, or bass, or piano, and we'll have some music to play along with. Um, but to learn this stuff, you really don't need a track. But if you want to practice with a track, um, the Boom Chick, find a song that's a slower tempo song. Uh, what's a real popular song with kids now? Oh, uh, Mm, take my home to the old town road. I'm gonna ride till I can't. No, old town road is a good, slow, nice, steady tempo. Once again, that's uh, if you listen to the track, don't try to play what they're playing because it's not a straight four beat, but you can play your straight four beat to the tempo. So, real quick lesson on tempo tempo's clapping your hands. If you're listening to a song, all right, most of the time we're gonna clap on the two and four, just like the snare drum, but the tempo is this. If we're saying we're gonna play this, one, two, ready, play. The sequence of those numbers is the tempo. The tempo is the speed, okay? So find a, find a song that's about this tempo. You know, everyone should start on something that's super fast. And vice versa, you don't wanna to go too slow because slow is sometimes harder than fast, okay? So we're gonna get that basic beat going again. And I want you to apply that to a song that you can find today. And then we're gonna add this Alabama roll in. Right back to your beat, okay? All right, so we also want to go back over the We Will Rock You Boom Boom Chick. So that's two rights, boom, boom, chick, boom, boom, chick. And we can lock our hi-hat in with all three of those. Once again, if you have problems connecting this, just do it with your leg, do the hi-hat with your bass drum, and or do it with your snare. Okay? Um, you can play that song and play along with it. Uh, just pull it up on YouTube, or if you have it on your phone, Spotify, or whatever you may use. 
uh, just play along with that. It's a nice tempo. It's a, it does the same thing through the entire song. There's nothing different. But All right, today's lesson, um, we want to uh, talk about straight bass beats. A lot of pop songs, uh, contemporary Christian song, hill song, um, uh, a lot of the a lot of the song, if the drums are in, it's to the tempo. Okay, so let's pick the song "Bad Guy." Okay, a lot of that song is just bass drum. So we're going to start that with our tempo. We talked about tempo earlier. Is the speed. This is just a little bit slower than the song. What's what we'll do today? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, now let's lock in the right hand with the right leg. Okay, so you got bass and hat. Same time though. Okay, don't be tempted to do this. You're gonna want to. Don't do it. It's a bad habit. Okay, now the hard part. What we're we counting to? Four. Remember the basic beat? One, two, three, four. Well, if we're in four, four time, we put the snare in, guess what it needs to do? Either two or four, okay? So let's put it on two and four. <clears throat> now these are doing all four. This is doing all four. This is doing two and four, okay? If this just blows your brain out, take the hi-hat away and just do the snare, okay? I'm gonna do all of it first. Okay? Slow it down. One, two. Let me start it again because that was wrong. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then the hat. Okay? Practice that. That's going to be trickier than you think. It looks easy. It's going to be trickier than you think. Uh, practice those beats from yesterday. And uh, later in the week, we're going to get uh, Brandon and uh, Trenton and maybe some other people in here since we can't play tracks, but we got music, we got a building full of musicians. So we'll start playing along to some songs, okay? Practice up. See you tomorrow.